time domain signal can be converted into frequency domain signal by using DIT FFT algorithm. We need to convert this discrete signal into frequency domain. This time domain signal into frequency domain. So first of all, write the sequence. This is our first element. So we will write it as X of 0. This is second element X of 1. This is third element. We will write it as X of 2. Like that right up to X of 7. Now we wrote all the sequence. Now we need to write the normal form. Then in DIT FFT, we need to convert the normal form into bit reversal form. I will say. First of all, write the normal form. So normal form it will be, write the sequence like this itself. So we wrote the normal form in sequence. Now converting it into binary form, x of 0, it will be 0, 0, 0. Then 1, it will be 0, 0, 1. 2, it will be 0, 1, 0. 3, it will be 0, 1, 1. 4, it will be 1, 0, 0. 5, it will be 1, 0, 1. 6, it will be 1, 1, 0. 7, it will be all 1. Now we need to convert this normal form into bit reversal form. Bit reversal form, we need to reverse it. Okay, 0, 0, 0, the reverse value will be same itself, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, the reverse value will be 1, 0, 0. So 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, the reverse is same itself. 0, 1, 1, the reverse will be 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. 1, 0, 0, the reverse will be 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, the reverse will be same itself. 1, 1, 0, the reverse will be 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, then all 1, it is same itself. Now we need to write this in normal form, okay? So this, the first element will be 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 0, and this is 2 raised to 1, and this is 2 raised to 2. 2 raised to 0, it is 1, so 2 raised to 0, it is 1, 2 raised to 1, it is 2, and 2 raised to 2, it is 4. Here it is all 0, then the value will be 0. 1 0 0 1 is only for 4 so we will get 4 0 1 0 1 is only for 2 you will get 2 1 1 0 1 is for 4 and 1 is for 2 so 4 plus 2 we will get 6 0 0 1 1 is for only 1 so we will get 1 1 0 1 1 is for 4 and 1 is for 1 so 4 plus 1 we will get 5 then 0 1 1 1 is for 2 and 1 is for 1 so we will get 2 plus 1 it is 3 then 1 is for 4 1 is for 2 and 1 is for 1. So 4 plus 2, 5, 6 plus 1, it will be 7. So this will be our x of 0. This will be x of 4, x of 2, x of 6, x of 1, x of 5, x of 3, and x of 7. This is the bit reversal order. So x of 0, it is 0. Then x of 4, x of 4, it is 4. Then x of 2, x of 2, it is 2 x of 6, x of 6, it is 6, x of 1, x of 1, it is 1, and x of 5, x of 5, it is 5, x of 3, x of 3, it is 3, then x of 7, x of 7, it is 7. So this is the bit reversal order. With this, we are going to draw the DIT FFT graph. With this, we need to start in DIT FFT. Okay? So in the question, there are eight elements. Okay, there are eight elements. That means two raised to three. So there will be three stages, three stages while drawing the algorithm. Okay, so three stages. First stage, it is two point DFT stage, two point DFT. In the second stage, second stage, it will be four point DFT. And the last stage, third stage, it will be 8 point DFT. Okay, 8 point DFT. So 2 point DFT means there will be only two lines. And we will put a cross mark in between that. 4 point DFT, there will be four lines. 1, 2, 3 and 4. We will put cross mark starting from here. After a line, we will join. Then starting from here, after a line, we will join. Like that, we need to go from bottom to top, starting from here, after one line join, starting from here, after one line join. This is 4 point DFT. Now, 8 point DFT, we need to draw 8 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay, we need to draw 8 lines. And in 8 point DFT, starting from here, 
we need to join in the fourth line after one two three and four fourth line we need to join then starting from here after join the fourth line one two three and four starting from here start join the fourth line one two three and four starting from here join the fourth line one two three and four this is the from top to bottom now like this from bottom to top also we need to draw starting from here one two three and four starting from here join after on the fourth line one two three and four starting from here one two three and four starting from here one two three and four this is the eight point dft now in this process we need to draw we need to draw four two point dft two four point dft and one eight point dft okay so this is a two point dft like this we need to draw four two point dft so this is the second two point dft this is the third two point dft and this is the fourth two point dft so like this we need to put cross mark in all the four two point dft this is the two point dft like this we need to draw four two point dft one two three and four four point dft we need to draw two numbers so four point dft means there will be four lines one two three and four four lines are there like that we need to draw two so this is one pair and this is the other pair then we need to join after one line we need to join after one line join and here also after one line join after one line join eight point dft in only one pair that is this pair this is the graph or this is the algorithm butterfly diagram now we need to write our bit reversal order here okay so this is the bit reversal order that we found now first stage will consist of two point dft so there will be two lines two lines and we will put a cross mark in that line this is two point dft like that there are four two point dfts so this will be our second two point dft we will put cross mark and the next one will be our third two point dft we will put cross mark then again the final one last two point dft this is our fourth two point dft so four two point dfts are there now the baseline the baseline of all the dfts two point dft put minus one minus one minus one then minus one now in dit fft we need to multiply with tuddle factor before the cos mark before this cos mark we need to multiply in dir after the cos mark in dit before cos mark we need to multiply with tuddle factor so the first stage is two point dft so the tuddle factor will be w two raised to zero that is one so we need to multiply everywhere with w two raised to zero so that is one we need to multiply here 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 and here this is our tuddle factor now look at this now we have elements here we need to find the elements that is going to come here okay so first of all we can take this point at this point how many lines are coming one is this line that is coming here and the other one is this line so this line the value is 4 4 plus this line the value is 0 so 4 plus 0 the value will be 4 now here which one line are coming this is one line and this is the another line so this line it is 0 then this line it is 4 and there is a minus 1 so 4 into minus 1 it will be minus 4 so this value will be minus 4 now here um, we need to find the value here so the lines coming are this one and this one this one the value it is 2 plus then here it is 6 so 2 plus 6 it will be 8 now here the lines coming this is 2 then this is 6 into 1 we will get 6 then 6 into minus 1 we will get minus 6 so 2 minus 6 the value will be minus 4 okay now the next one this is 1 and this is 5 so 1 plus 5 we will get the answer 6 now here this point this is 1 and 5 into minus 1 this is 1 then 5 into minus 1 we will get minus 5 so 1 minus 5 we will get 
minus 4. Now the last two point DFT, this is 3. 3 and this is 7. So 3 plus 7 it will be 10. Now this point it is 3, 3, then this point it is minus 7, 7 into minus 1. You will get 3 minus 7 it will be minus 4. So these are the values that is going to come at the end of 2 point DFT. Now we completed the first stage. Then the second stage. Second stage consists of 4 point DFT. 4 point DFT. Here it is 2 point DFT. Now for point DFT there will be four lines. So you will draw the lines is first line, second line, third line and fourth line. And we need to start from here then after one line join. Start from here after one line join. This is from top to bottom like that from bottom to top also. Start from here after one line join. Start from here after one line join. Now in the base value, the base in the base two in this 2 put minus 1 in the base 2 lines put minus 1 ok now ahead of the cross mark you need to put what triddle factor for 4 point DFT the triddle factor will be w 4 raised to 0 and w 4 raised to 1 w 4 raised to 0 it is 1 w 4 raised to 1 it will be minus j so put this triddle factor ahead of the cross mark so this is minus 1 so ahead of that here we need to put 1 w4 raised to 0 and here also ahead of that we need to put minus j this is w4 raised to 0 and this is w4 raised to 1 so this is one pair so in the second stage second four point dft there we need two four point dft pairs so this is one pair and we need to draw one more pair so four point dft it will have four lines one two three and four it will have four lines then join starting from here after one line join starting from here after one line join then from bottom to top starting from here after one line join starting from here after one line join then put minus one in the base and after putting minus one we need to put triddle factor ahead of the cosma on this base two lines we need to put triddle factor so triple factor it is w4 raised to 0 that is 1 then w4 raised to 1 it is minus j okay now we need to get the values that is going to come here first of all we are going to find the value that is coming here so which all lines are coming at this point at this point which all lines are coming one is this line and the other one is this line so this line the value is 4 then this line the value is 8 8 into 1 that will be 8 so 4 plus 8 it will be 12 now the second second line the lines coming are minus 4 and the other line is this one so minus 4 then minus 4 into minus j it will be 4j minus 4 plus 4j now the third line the lines coming are this one and this one so this one the value it is 4 in this one the value it is 8 into 1 it is 8 8 into minus 1 it will be minus 8 so 4 minus 8 we will get it as minus 4 now here the lines coming are this one and this one this one it is minus 4 and this one it is minus 4 into minus j it will be 4j 4j into minus 1 it will be minus 4j now here at this point which line coming 6 6 and this line this line it is 10 10 into 1 it is 10 so 6 plus 10 it will be 16 now the next line the value it is minus 4 then this line minus 4 into minus 3 it will be 4j so minus 4 plus 4j now this line the value it is 6 then 10 into 1 it is 10 into minus 1 it will be minus 10 so 6 minus 10 it will be minus 4 now the last value the line is minus 4 then minus 4 into minus 3 it will be 4j 4j into minus 1 it will be minus 4j so this is the value that is going to come at the end of 4 point dft now we need to write the 8 point dft third stage now the third stage third stage it is a 8 point dft stage 8 point dft means there will be 8 lines like that only really one pair is there so we need to draw 8 lines so 1 2 then 3, <clears throat> 4, 5, 6, 
7 and 8. <clears throat> now in 8 point DFT starting from here we need to join in the fourth line 1, 2, 3 and 4. Starting from here join in the fourth line 1, 2, 3 and 4. Starting from here join in the fourth line 1, 2, 3, 4. Starting from here join in the fourth line 1, 2, 3, 4. It touches the base. Now we need to go from bottom to top. Starting from here 1, 2, 3, 4. 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 Now we need to put minus 1. Okay. Minus 1 in the base lines. Minus 1. Then here also minus 1. Here also minus 1. And here also minus 1. On 4 lines we need to put minus 1. Now this is an 8 point DFT. So there will be 2 little factors. That is W8 raised to 0. That is 1. Then W8 raised to 1. It will be 1 by root 2 minus J1 by root 2. Then I have put a video on how to find little factor. The video will be there in the description. Then W8 raised to 2. It will be minus J. Then W8 raised to 3. It will be minus 1 by root 2 minus J1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 it is 0 0.707. So we can write in decimal form also or in fraction form it's your wish 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707 we need to multiply these two little factors ahead of the cos mark okay so this is minus one so ahead of that w8 raised to zero w8 raised to zero then w8 raised to one w8 raised to two and w8 raised to three now we need to do the multiplications and complete the drawing okay so this value first of all we need to find the value that is going to come here so here what all lines are coming this line and also this line so this line if the value it is 12 then this line the value it is 16 into w8 raised to 0 w8 raised to 0 it is 1 so 16 into 1 it will be 16 so 12 plus 16 it will be 28 now this point this point the line coming up minus 4 plus j4 minus 4 plus j4 then the next line it is minus 4 plus j4 into w8 raised to 1 w8 raised to 1 it is 1 by root 2 minus j1 by root 2 so minus 4 plus minus 4 plus j4 into w8 raised to 1 this value 1 by root 2 minus j1 by root 2 we can solve it in calculator put it in complex mode and solve it when we multiply it in calculator we will get the value as 5.656 so we need to add 5.656 i now adding this to 5 plus 4 you will get the value as minus 4 plus 9.656 i i or j okay so this is the second value like that we need to do the remaining one the next element will be a sum of minus 4 and also this value minus 4 into w8 raised to 2 w8 raised to 2 it is minus j so first of all you can write this uh, minus 4 we wrote now minus 4 into w8 raised to 2 w8 raised to 2 it is minus j so minus 4 into minus j it will be 4j so minus 4 plus 4j now this value it is minus 4 minus j4 then plus what is the uh, line here minus 4 minus minus 4 minus j4 into w8 raised to 3 w8 raised to 3 it is minus 1 by root 2 or in decimal decimal form you take it will be easy for calculation in calculator so minus 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707 doing that in calculator we will get we will get the value as 5.656 i so minus j4 and minus 5 point plus 5.6 we will get the answer as minus 4 minus no minus 4 plus 1 point 6 by 6 you will get the answer like that so find the remaining values like this here we need to multiply with minus 1 we can do that 12 12 then this line 16 to w8 raised to 0 it is uh, it raised to 0 it is 1 so 16 to 1 it will be 16 then here it is minus so 16 to minus 1 it will be minus 16 so 12 minus 16 we are going to get the answer as minus 4 like this find the remaining values we will get the values as minus 4 minus 4 minus j 1.656 minus 4 minus j 4 minus 4 minus j 9.656 now write the, all these values here so this will be our final value that we are going to get 
Now write the sequence. So this is our x of 0, capital X of 0. Here it was small letter, that is time domain. Here it is frequency domain. So capital values we need to write. x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5, x of 6, and the final value is x of, x of 7. This was the time domain signal that was given in the question. Time domain signal that is small letter x of n. We converted that into frequency domain that is capital X of k and the first value it is 28 then the second value it is minus 4 plus j 9.656 like that the third value fourth value like, right like this okay so we converted time domain signal into frequency domain if you are getting complex pairs like this this is minus 4 plus then we will get minus 4 minus then here minus 4 plus j4 then is corresponding complex value here then this one corresponding complex value here if you are getting a if you are getting like that then our answer is correct okay so this is the process of converting dit fft or using dit fft converting time domain signal into frequency domain now in the next video we can do dif fft